Here I'm going to show you how to assign a macro to a button or to a checkbox within Excel. Now I'm assuming you've already got your macros that you want to use um, in the spreadsheet so what you want to do now is assign them to something. And you can basically assign a macro to any object within Excel. If you draw any type of shape or a button or checkbox you can assign a macro to that and it's very easy once you've drawn whatever type of shape or thing you want simply right click that then go down to assign macro this window will pop up find your macro either in all open workbooks or this workbook wherever you want and then simply select the macro I'm going to click hello macro and click OK now anytime I click this button that macro will run. So let's try it out. Hello? Hello? So that's the macro that I assigned to it. It simply outputs the text hello. So now for a checkbox it's basically the same thing. Um, all you have to do is right click the checkbox, go to assign macro, and then select the macro and click OK. And now this checkbox is assigned to a macro so that every time a user selects or clicks this checkbox, that macro will run. Now assigning a macro to a checkbox is particular, particularly pretty neat because you can put this in a form where you say send it out to a work group and they all fill it out and then when they select a checkbox, something else happens. So here I've got an example, select if using form A. So this assumes that if you're going to use form A, click here and the macro I've assigned will open up another window. So let's try it out. And when I click it, I have a test Word document that opens that simply says test. And so I've assigned that macro to the checkbox. And now anytime either this button is clicked or someone selects or deselects this checkbox, those macros will run. And it's a pretty neat way to, uh, I guess, liven up your spreadsheets. Also, say you want to take the macro off, so you don't want this button to, you know, make a macro run. Simply right click the button, go to assign macro, and then up here, make sure all of this text is highlighted, and delete it. Then click OK. And now, the button is just a regular image again. Similarly, with the checkbox, right click, assign macro, delete everything up here, click OK, and the checkbox is a regular checkbox once again. So that's how you can assign a macro to a button or a checkbox, and also basically any other object that you draw or create within your spreadsheet, you can most likely assign a macro to it. If you're not sure, simply right click the object, and as long as it says assign macro right there, you can assign a macro to it. So that's how you can assign macros to objects in Excel.